makers. In this video we will send data from Arduino Uno board to ThinkSpeak website using ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Hit the subscribe button and watch the video until the end. First go to thingspeak.com. Thingspeak is a web-based IoT platform which is used to monitor sensor data, store sensor data, analyze sensor data and so on. To use Thingspeak you need to have account so you can create a new account for free by following simple steps. If you already have Thingspeak account, you have to log in to your account. After creating account, we need to create a new channel for our project. While creating a new ThinkSpeak channel, you need to give your project name, description of your project and fields of your project. You may have one or more fields in a specific channel based up on your project requirement. Let us name our project weather station and let us monitor three different variables using three ThinkSpeak fields. Those are temperature, humidity and light intensity. You can add, you can drop or make your own fields based up on your project. When we save our channel, we will get a dashboard to monitor the given fields in a graphical manner with our own project and fields name. The x-axis of the graph is date by default, but you can press the pen icon to change axis, the title, the color or other properties. When we create a ThinkSpeak channel it will be private or only the creator is able to see the channel. We will see how we can share our channel to public and specific person. If you wish to update your channel name, channel description, or fields, you can navigate to channel setting to edit. If you press sharing button next to channel setting, you will be able to change the channel view to private, public, or with specific person using their email. To integrate your ThinkSpeak channel with Arduino or other software you need to use API key. You have to use write API key to send data or to store data onto your ThinkSpeak channel and read API keys to retrieve the stored data. Now let me describe the Arduino code. You can find the source code in the first part of the comment section. After importing software serial library, you need to define RX and TX pin based up on how you are gonna to connect your ESP8266 with your Arduino. RX equals 2 means digital pin 2 of Arduino is connected with TX of the Wi-Fi module. Whereas TX equals 3 means digital pin 3 of Arduino is connected with RX of the Wi-Fi module. You also need to define your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Now we are intended to start data so we are going to define the right API key. The host is api.thinkspeak.com without HTTP, and set the port to 80. We also need to define some variables which we are going to use in our code. Software Serial ESP will help the Wi-Fi module to accept sensors data from the Arduino board serially via pin 2 and 3. In the setup function we will connect the ESP module with Wi-Fi. Send command is a user-defined function which is used to send command and displaying the result in serial monitor. In the loop function I will be using random number generator to generate a value for temperature, humidity and light intensity. You can use any sensor and analog read, digital read or other appropriate way of reading sensors data instead of using random number generator function. The data to be sent is prepared in string format on string get data variable using the right API key temperature, humidity, and light intensity as set to field 1, 2 and 3 consecutively. You can add fields or you can drop fields based up on your interest. After sending some sort of command via send command function to the host, we will send the data via the Wi-Fi module. Connect the Wi-Fi module with Arduino board as shown in the diagram and upload the code after choosing the proper board type and port. Now if we open Serial Monitor, the ESP board is not able to connect with the Wi-Fi. This is because the Wi-Fi SSID is not correct. Let me amend the Wi-Fi name and re-upload the code. Now. The ESP8266 board is successfully connected with the Wi-Fi and it is able to send the data onto the ThinkSpeak server. 
As you can see it show the data in graphical manner. We can also download the data if we need. Thank you for your time and consider subscribing.